Today in our 2016 Ford F-150, we're going to take a look at and show you how to install the Takancha Prodigy P2 Proportional Trailer Brake Controller. This works for one up to four axles. Part number is 90885. We're also going to be using the Takancha plug-in wiring adapter for the brake controller. Part number there is 22292. Now here you can see our P2 installed on the truck. We've got a small button here. This is for our boost level. This we can change depending on the relation of the weight to our trailer in relation to our truck. That determines how quickly and aggressively our brakes are going to be applied. The round dial here, that's our gain adjustment. We just move my override over, you can see I'm currently at zero, and then we can incrementally adjust that up all the way up to 11. And it really allows for fine tuning, as you can see we can go down to about a tenth. Now this we can adjust depending on our trailer again and road conditions and things like that to give us optimal braking power going to the trailer without over braking which can cause damage to the trailer tires. So you've got a nice manual override lever here on the bottom. This is going to allow us to, in case of emergency, reach down and apply our brakes. As you can see, if you go really quickly, it's very quickly going to go up to the maximum gain that we've got set. So if it were set at 11, it would go to 11. If it were set at 3.7, it's going to go to 3.7. So we're never going to be in danger of over braking and causing a lockup on our trailer. The P2 is a proportional brake controller. This means that it's going to work in proportion to the deceleration of the vehicle. The accelerometer that's inside is going to sense when we're trying to slow down our vehicle, activate, and send the, the power directly to the rear in a very quick and efficient manner. Whereas with, let's say, a time delayed controller, that slowly builds up or gradually builds up. So we won't have to wait for our braking response. Another benefit to this being a proportional controller, we're able to install this 360 degrees as long as it's straight in line with our direction of travel. We've got no degree limits here, so we can move this as far up or as far down as we would need to to safely mount it in our vehicle. A few of the safeguards that Prodigy has built in here. First, it's going to protect our vehicle's battery. When it's not in use, it's only drawing 3.6 milliamps, so a very, very, very low draw on our vehicle. It's going to protect itself and also the breakaway system that we've got on our vehicle from any kind of shorts. And it's also on those prolonged stops or those uh, stops maybe we're at a stop sign. It's going to gradually reduce the power that's going to the brakes in the back to protect them from overheating. As you can see here, the P2 also offers a very easy to read LCD screen there. So it'll allow us to know exactly what's going on or exactly how much power is going to the rear there as we need to. See right here, we're going to have a small LED that indicates to us that we do have 12 volt power to the brake controller. Just to the right of that, when boost is activated, there's going to be another small LED right there indicating that that will go away once we're back to boost to zero, that's gonna go away, indicating that it's not currently in boost mode. Well, the first thing we need to do is get our shroud out of the way that's gonna be underneath this uh, side panel, which we're gonna remove. Now, this is gonna have a bolt located right up here on the side. We're gonna have one on each side. it's gonna look like. So we'll take the one out here on the driver's side, we'll do the same thing on our passenger side. Now on our passenger side, we wanna reach up right up at the very tip of this shroud, just about there. And if we pull out on it, you see there's a little clip that we separate. That'll allow this side to come free. We should have another clip there, and then we'll get the last one right over on that corner and pull it out. All right, now we'll set that aside. We'll put it back in once we get our brake controller in. Now we'll come right down here to the bottom and we just wanna carefully work this out and separate our clips. Now we've got our little cubby hole that's right behind that rectangular shaped hole. It should be plugged right into the back of that. You see it right there. 
what we're gonna do is just allow that to come down. And we'll pull it right over here. You can see we can pull it out right here to where it'll be easy to connect to. Now we'll get our dashboard reassembled here. Cubby hole's gonna go back in. Now the key with getting this put back together is just making sure that our clips line up. Now let's put our shroud back in place. Now we're ready to grab our pigtail, line it up and slide it in. You want to hear that audible click and then you'll be able to push and pull on it without it coming apart. That way we'll know we'll have a good connection. Next we need to just set that aside for now. Let's get our bracket mounted. And we'll position our bracket where we want it. Now we have the option of coming up here on the dashboard if we choose to or Really, wherever is convenient, as long as we're staying within that range of motion that we talked about. Then we use the provided screws and get that mounted in position. Now, you always want to check behind, make sure you're not going to screw into anything, any wires or anything like that. All right, perfect. Now we can take our pigtail. It's going to plug right into the back of our controller. that should give us the NC or not connected signal which that's what we want it means we're getting our power and everything through over through our pigtail now we'll align the holes on the side with one of the holes in our bracket and we can thread in our machine screws there to secure it all right now that's securely mounted all we have to do is just secure our excess pigtail. Nice little bracket right up here that'll allow us to do that. Just use a zip tie. Just like that. Now we'll hook up our simulated trailer, make sure it's working as it should. Now the first test we'll run is as we plug in our trailer or trailer tester, our NC should switch over to a C. That's gonna indicate that we've got our trailer connected. That gives us constant monitoring as we're heading down the road. In case of a disconnect, it'll alert us by then flashing NC. Here you'll see as we move our override lever inside of the vehicle, it's gradually going to increase the braking power going to the rear. Now with everything working properly, that's going to complete today's installation of the Deconcha Prodigy P2 Trailer Brake Controller, part number 90885 on our 2016 Ford F-150.